you want to memorize from this is that arc length equals the square root of one plus the derivative of f of x squared times the change in x. So if you want to put it in um, intervals, arc length equals the interval from a to b of the square root of one plus the f of x derivative squared dx. So on the first question, it says find the exact length of a curve of y equals one plus six x to the three halves on the interval of zero to one. So you plug in zero here, one here, and the square root of one plus f of x, which is y, but the derivative of it. So we're gonna go here and show that y equals one plus six x, three halves. And then the derivative of one plus six x, three halves is one is zero, three halves times six is nine, and then x, and then three halves minus one is to the one half. So you plug it in, 9x to the 1 half squared dx. Now you want to simplify it and you end up with 1 plus 2 times 90 squared is 81 and then you multiply this so it's x just x dx. Okay, so now we're doing question two, and this one says find the exact length of a curve of y equals x cubed over three plus one, four, plus one over four x um, in this specific integral. So like I said before, always remember arc length equals the integral from a to b, square root of one plus the derivative of f of x, squared dx. Okay, so now we're gonna do the derivative of y on the side. So y equals x cubed over three plus one, four, one over four x. And then let's just simplify it a little bit so it's easier for to um, find the derivative. So x cubed over three, and then we can take out x to the negative one, so it's gonna be easier. So now to find the derivative, we're going to do 3x squared over 3 and then plus a negative 1 fourth x to a negative 2. And then let's make this a little bit prettier. So we have a derivative of y, this cancels out, so x cubed minus 1, four, one over 4 x uh, squared, sorry. And then we want to square this. And so we're going to have to make a foil. So x squared minus 1 over 4x squared times the same equation. And we're going to foil it. So that's going to be x four to 4. And then minus 1 for x to the squared times x squared and then from here it's going to be the same number and then here to here it's going to be plus 1 over 16 x to the fourth and so these cancel out and so 1 fourth minus 1 fourth is 1 half And so that's gonna equal our derivative of y squared. And so now we're just gonna plug it into the equation. So a equals from a to b, so that's gonna be from one to two, the square root of one plus x to the fourth minus one half plus one over 16 times x to the fourth dx. 
And that's your second question. So now we're going to do question three, and we have to find the length of the curve of ln of secant x with that integral. So let's um, find already the derivative of y. So y equals ln of secant x. And then the derivative of this is you're going to have to find the derivative of secant x and then also the derivative of ln. So 1 over secant x is the derivative of ln and then times the derivative of secant x, which is secant x times tangent x. So now to simplify, it's going to end up being just tangent x because these cancel out. And so tangent, and so now we're just going to plug it in. And so arc length equals from a to b, so 0 to pi over 4, the square root of 1 plus tangent squared x dx. And now this is an identity. So 1 plus tangent 2x equals actually secant squared x. And so the arc length from 0 pi over 4 is the square root of secant squared x dx. And then the square root over a squared is just going to make a secant x dx. And that is the answer for this one. Okay, so now we're going to do the last question and we're going to find the length of this equation. So let's go right ahead and find the derivative of 1 fourth times x squared minus 1 half of ln x. So let's make this a little bit easier and let's take out 1 half. So y equals 1 half times 1 half x squared minus ln x. So now we're going to start the derivative of y. So we're going to have 1 half and then 2 is going to go to the outside, but it's going to cancel out with the 1 half. And so we're just going to end up being ending up with an x. And then the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So this is the derivative. Now let's distribute this in. And so it's going to be 1 half x minus 1 over 2 x. Okay, and now we're going to square the derivative. And so we're going to have to have a, a foil. So 1 half x minus 1 over 2 x times 1 half x minus 1 over 2 x. Okay, so now we're going to have 1 4 x squared and then 1 fourth x x here and then again for this 1 4 x times x and then for here it's going to be plus 1 4 x squared okay and so these are going to cancel out now we're going to end up with 1 fourth times x squared minus 1 half plus 1 over 4 x squared. And now we're just going to plug this in into our equation. And so a equals the square root of 1 plus x squared minus one half plus one over four x squared dx. 